Okay, YouTubers, this is the Angry Prepper. So, today's video, we're going to talk about New York City getting a lot worse and the problems that nobody is talking about. So, guys, as you know, New York City is running into an immigration problem, right? Or migrant problem or illegal immigrants. Whatever you want to call it, I'd rather call it the lather of the two. But anyway, this illegal immigrant problem in the city is going to cost the city, as you heard me say before, $12 billion. Now I'm hearing the number $15 billion, possibly. So the number seems to keep going up every week. Um, I don't know if that's because the government sort of is sort of now listening to New York State, or rather New York State Governor Kathy Hochul. I don't know if the Biden administration is listening to her, and that's why the number went up. Nonetheless, it's an issue if it is going to cost the city $15 billion. Now, the city is doing, looking to do budget cuts, as I said before, but it's, they're looking at it as a three phase budget cut, meaning they're looking to cut 5% over three years or three phases, if you will, right? So first phase, 5%, second phase, 5%, third phase, 5%. So anyway, with that, well, all of this going on, guys, they're missing the bigger picture of all the other shit that's going on, right? So now we have a horrendous drug problem that is getting worse. It's, I'm gonna dare to say it's worse than the crack era. Now I'm 46 years old. I grew up in the crack era here in New York City. It was pretty bad. This is out of control because the junkies are shooting up in the streets, in the open. They're not hiding out in abandoned buildings like they used to or in, uh, tunnels and parks that no longer, that have people no longer frequent. They're not hiding in parks like they used to. They're out in the open. So that drug problem right there is skyrocketing because even though they were given places, safe zones to shoot up in, they refused to use those. And those who refuse to use those places are out in the open shooting up. Here's the kicker. When the budget cuts go in, as I said before, the mental health services are going to be the first to get cut. So the drug services, so the youth services, so the senior services, and then so on and so forth. And then it even trickles down into city agencies, FD, PD, EMS, you name it. All agencies in the city have to cut the budget. But when you start telling drug addicts, all right, we can't run these facilities anymore for you because we had a budget cut, you're going to see more drug addicts shooting up in the middle of the street. You're going to see more problems in the street because a lot of the crime, which is going unchecked, though NYPD, because they're, you know, the simps of Eric Adams, Mayor Eric Adams, they'll tell Eric Adams whatever he wants to hear. The crime is going down. They see a dip, like a point zero. 1% dip in some kind of crime, they go, well, crime's going down. That's how uh, petty they're getting. They're looking at it and they're, they're calling out bullshit on the lowering of crime and how this is not happening anymore. It's complete BS. Crime is out of control. The scooter situation, you got kids on scooters shooting at each other. You got gang rivals on scooters shooting at each other. You got scooters just blown through red lights and getting hit by cars. You got scooters robbing people. I mean, it's the, the crime and that crime in itself, it's like a separate situation. Now you got illegals coming here. You got them working for Grubhub or Uber under other account holders name. So if Juan, who came here from Mexico two weeks ago, he's now working for John. I know it's one and the same. He's now working for American John, if you will. American John owns the app, owns an account under Uber or Uber Eats or Grubhub. And Juan is now working for John, making a hundred bucks a day, working 12 hours a day and paying John X amount of money to use his app to make some money. It's the worst scam in the world, but that's currently going on. As I said before, these illegals who came here to New York, they saturated the Uber Eats delivery system. They saturated the deli delivery system. Politicians are talking about they need work. What fucking work? It's saturated. In fact, you have a lot of illegals leaving on their own and looking for work in other states, which is probably the move to do if you can't find work here. But the others, they're sticking around and draining the city dry. So before, when I was talking about the budget cuts and, and affecting different services around the city, the mental health services, as I said before, is going to get hit first. We see enough psych patients walking around the street, licking sidewalks and talking about how to 
they're, they're talking to Michael Jackson and they're, they're doing moonwalks for no fucking reason. You're like, the fuck's going on, right? These are the people who are being helped and trying to get better, which the city never makes them better. They always, you know, throw that out there that we're helping them. They're really not. Anyway, those services shut down. You're going to see more psych patients on the street doing more fucked up shit, attacking people for no reason, robbing people, raping, you name it, because it has gone on before, but now it's going unchecked. So you're definitely going to have that big of, of that issue that's going to explode. Then the homeless situation, which is now being compounded by the illegal immigrants, that's exploding. They're living almost everywhere they can, under bridges, tents, all kinds of shit. Now, they were doing that before the illegal immigrants got here. It's gotten even worse. So with the crazies, situation about to explode because they're about to hit the streets with the drug addicts now not having a place to shoot up which i disagreed with anyway we're going to be seeing more of them and guys again crime just going unchecked how many illegal immigrants are going to turn to crime as i told you before the prostitution thing is definitely going to skyrocket because well what else are the, the, the ladies going to do but you know suck a couple dicks and jerk a couple dudes off but then what about the guys well, they can't do Uber Eats. They can't do the Grubhub shit because that's saturated. What's left for them to do? Possibly enter the drug gang or go to the one gang they were trying to get away from, MS-13, that's here in New York. Now, I think they have a presence in New York City. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I know their presence is, is deep out in Long Island. Nonetheless, guys, we're going to see New York City crumble before our eyes. Whether I stay or go, which I'm leaning more, not leaning, but I'm, I'm preparing to go, we're going to watch New York City crumble, and I'm going to chronicle the crumbling of New York City. Like I said, I'm going to do a live stream walk. Um, I'm trying to get it done before the winter comes in, because then all the crackheads, they fucking scurry and hide and shit like that. You know what crackheads do. Gets a little cold, they fucking find a niche somewhere, and they fucking hide there. And they're not crackheads, guys. The the drug that's out there now is Trank. The drugs out there now that they, they're doing is a heroin you know, so it's a lot of other things going on. It's just easy to label them as crackheads than it is to, you know, say trank users and all that other crazy shit. Nonetheless, guys, New York City's falling apart. New York City is 1000% fucked and it's going to take decades for it to recover. For those that remember New York City in the 70s and the 80s, it took decades for it to get start getting better in the 90s into the 2000s. We're repeating history again, except for the city's going to crumble not so much faster, but way worse than it was in the 70s. Now, here's the bigger issue with the over, with the, not the overtime, but the crime, if you will, getting out of control. They cut NYPD's overtime. Cops were leaving in droves anyway. They were like, fuck this job. You had those that were on the fence and were like, oh, I'll try to put another year or two in before I leave. If you cut their overtime, what do you think that's going to do to the cops that were on the fence? They're going to leave. They're going to take up. They're not going to fucking sit around and do anything anymore. So with that, guys, you're going to have less cops on the street, more cops retiring. Hell, you're going to have cops quitting because there's no overtime. You got to be kidding me. And there's more than enough overtime for cops. Trust me. With the amount of crime and the shit going on in the city, there's enough overtime for the cops. But the union president, who I think is Patty Lynch, that piece of shit is a piece of shit and he's not speaking up for his guys he and if he is i haven't heard a fucking lick out of that dude that guy's the worst piece of shit for a union rep ever and now that the overtime's getting carried away you don't hear him saying a fucking word he comes out of the woodworks anytime a cop gets shot he's like well you know the cops say he got shot because and he starts his fucking political bullshit rant and then he goes back in hiding this motherfucker is a cancer to his own men and I don't know why his own men aren't fucking booting him out. They should actually be at the Union Hall or wherever the fuck Patty Lynch works at and carrying him out and throwing him in the garbage can. That's just my opinion. But anyway, guys, New York City is fucked. NYPD is is crumbling as we speak. I mean, they were fucking hurting after the whole George Floyd thing. or Actually, a little before that, that fat dude that got choked out, Eric Gardner, they were hurting before that. But then, you know, George Floyd and then the fucking now they're cutting their overtime, changing it into comp time. A lot of motherfuckers don't want to, and they don't want to deal with half of the shit they have to deal with from their own. NYPD police officers are getting attacked from their own fucking leadership. Why would you want to stay? And then that, guys, the less cops on the street, well, the more cops that leave, the less cops on the street, the more crime because shit's going unchecked. 
Anyway, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Hopefully, I can reenact Escape from New York. And you guys will get to see me fucking battling the elements and the people to get the fuck out of this shithole called New York City. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching.